Good morning, Interweb. This is follow-up to my last video, Word Order. This video enjoyed you. If you have not seen that video, you should definitely go check it out. Otherwise, none of this is going to make any sense whatsoever. First item of follow-up, you slash Blake the Gecko made this really cool chart showing which word order universal transformations are possible, which languages can evolve into which other languages with respect to word order. A really cool chart. Massive thanks you slash Blake the Gecko. Links in all the usual places. You should go check out that chart. Could you plausibly change more than one word order feature at once if it's being influenced as part of a Sprachbund? I didn't read anything to this effect in the research for the video, but like it makes sense to me. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, a Sprachbund is kind of like a linguistic area where a number of languages share features because of their geographic uh, proximity. Um, so yeah, it makes sense to me. I think it could work. Technically, the primary word order used in declarative sentences in German is not SVO, but rather V2, verb second. That is 100% correct. More on this in an upcoming video. I like how Edgar says sandwich so it rhymes with language. As it should be. WTF, I'm German and yours is the best German I've ever heard an English-speaking YouTuber speak. I'm half German, so that's probably the reason why my German doesn't sound entirely terrible. I'm going to quibble with you slightly here on the notion that I'm an English-speaking YouTuber. I clearly don't speak English because... Sandwich. See, I'd say I'd speak more Hiberno-English. You know, that, these, those, them sandwiches. Hiberno-English. For the win. How do you go about languages that spit verbs like Dutch and German do? In general, I don't know, but if you were to adopt a Germanic model, what you would do is you would create various verbal roots and then various affixes to alter the meaning of those roots. And then when those newly affixed verbs are used in a sentence, the affix can be split apart and moved around the sentence. So to take German as an example here, you have a verb like machen, which is to make or to do. And if you add the prefix zu to machen, zu machen, it means to close or I think to lock uh, as well. Uh, and the way you'd use that in a sentence is you'd say something like wir machen die Tür zu, which means we close the door. The zu gets broken apart from the machen, the prefix gets broken apart from the verbal stem and gets put at the end of the sentence. You could do something like that in a common line. Or you could just evolve noun cases and use non-configurational word order. Yup, free word order is indeed a thing. More on that in an upcoming video. Sandwich! Wow, like everyone really latched onto this. It's, it's really weird. How does word order evolve? Like from SOV to SVO though? It's complicated. TLDR grammaticalization frees things up. So a language will tend to have like a dominant word order and many other secondary orders. Now as language evolves, more things could become grammaticalized, things like noun cases could evolve, etc. Which means that words can be moved around much more easily. And then over time, perhaps one of the secondary orders will just become more frequent than the old primary order. And so we kind of say that the language has switched orders then. It's complicated and that's just a really quick overview. Interesting though, here's a really fun chart showing where the various orders tend to evolve to. The thicker the lines here, the easier that evolution is. Links in all the usual places to the sources for that chart. Sangwage. I realize this is all fun and games and I'm with you on the joke here, but just, just to show it out there again, dialectal variation is entirely valid and prescriptivism isn't always the best look. So people say things differently from different parts of the world and that's okay. But again, for the sake of banter, I like it. Well played internet. Anyways, that was some follow up to the video word order. This video enjoyed you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered uh, any of the really pressing questions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, Edgar Rouse.